pull because their defense here has been that good. Sweden, though, they're going to be coming in like a storm. They're rolling onto the point. They've got some ultimate abilities ready to use as well. Swish wants to use his Dragon Blade, but he's gone low. The sound barrier is going to give him extra help, but now it's time to hack and slash his way through. Again, looking for those squishy targets, but each up has already found reinforced. It's a one for one trade over the fight. Sweden with the edge. Sweden, right now, the best push they've had here so far. Swoosh still in and around, dashing around the point. Australia slowly getting pushed back, but here comes Atar, bringing out the late Dragon Blade, and he's looking to equalize. Gets one support, two supports. Australia coming back to life here on this point, but will it be enough? Off screen, Atar is cutting a swat through the squishy targets on Sweden, but there's more to be done, and unfortunately, it may just not be enough. Gumba throws himself at the point, and he can see Tvik here there, ready to clean up the residual Australian players remaining on this point. They need control of that limousine. So far, they're looking good, but Australia has reinforced. Australia right now making this very scrappy. They will not give up without that point. You see that they still have players on this point contesting it, not letting Sweden get progress. Sweden struggling to throw them off, but the EMP comes out. Perfect. Australia coming back in again. Trails found tips high and again. Both supports are down for Sweden. Australia holding on once again. Tvik can't even stand up, and now things are getting pretty darn dicey for Sweden. 40 seconds remain for the men in blue and yellow to take the limousine. Sweden right now diving in. Sound bear coming in. Oh, huh? no. Sweden, they're get this Lucio down immediately. They have the first two kills, and this might have been what Sweden needed. There was a chance there. I think the RQT was looking for the sound bear to give his team a little bit of extra help, but he couldn't use it in time. It was taken down. A pulse bomb thrown on towards the point there, but it doesn't quite connect. And that switch is going to come in with a dragon blade, but Australia has had to give up the point. They've had to step off. Sweden in the red now standing tall. Two thirds of catch of progress done. And what we're seeing here, Sweden has way more people on the point, but Australia coming back in. They break it down the sound barrier. They're still contesting and buying some time. The question is, won't be enough. Plenty of members of Team Sweden controlling onto the point right now and keeping their team in it even in overtime. Overtime now. If Sweden leave the point for any reason, they'll lose, but no, they've captured it now. The MP was used into the back line and it hurt Sweden a little bit, but Australia has not won this fight here just yet. Very even. Four on four, still onto the point. Sweden tried to push that payload to its next oh. stage, but come back, opening it up. Sweden has struck deeply into Australia now. Will it be enough to take this point? That pulse bomb is huge, and now Aitar, the Dragon Blade's out. This is a big gambit for Australia. They need to hold on right now. Each up found two off camera. Twix forced to recall, recall and turn back in time. But now each up is back on the point. You can see two big Winstons over the payload, trying to knock each other off, but give their team a positional advantage. This is really big right now for Australia. They are fighting right now, Mitch. They're bringing it back. But here comes Swoosh, a Dragon Blade of his own. And no, he's taken down. Australia defending their turf. And Sweden might not be able to bring it back in. Sweden stopped in their tracks and overtime is done. All right, and this is big for Australia. Will they be able to get this payload moving? We're about to find out. Gumba looking for the EMP, dropping in over the cafe, holds it and uses it. Hitting three members of Sweden. They get the first kill, but will it be enough? Again, the fight's done more for Australia, but it's back and forth stuff over on this point. Reinforced, trying to stay healthy. Pulse bomb has dropped at his feet, but doesn't quite connect. No, Kiki's Diva is caught. He's forced to eject now, and Sweden are in control. Overtime's ticking down. It's not going to be enough, though. Only Gumba is left. He's going to be swatted away to the side, and the overtime bar is going to tick down. No, Sweden, take the first match here. And now you take a look here, Sweden holding back, letting Australia move in, and they're using the space that they have available here where they can bend back, but not necessarily break. They still have control of the point so long as Australia doesn't get people on it for an uncontested period of time. So Sweden is really playing with the defensive advantage here as Tvik plays on the outskirts. Yeah, you can see he's getting harassed by IHU up a little bit more, but now he gets himself a sound barrier, a lot more health, and Swartz takes two down with one dash. He cleans through both Trill and RQT, limiting Australia to four players, and now to fight a tough one for them so far. Kinky and have contributions, but it's not enough to rest Sweden off this point. And so this is where the Australian defense now, that they are in control of the point, is so very, very crucial as Sweden comes into attack once more. All eyes on Aitar, the orchestrator of Australia's victory in the previous fight. Now he needs to try and find a good angle to do damage from here. He's got good range, but he's vulnerable up close. He gets swooshed very low as he tries to drop down. No! Tvik finds him there, cleans him up with the help of his support player in chips. And that flanking DPS coming from Tvik again, striking deep into Australia. Four kills from Sweden, and they drop the sound barrier. More protection from them to help seal off this point. They will be flipping it back in their favor. Widowmaker is a long-range sniper hero that can deal incredible burst damage from afar. Again, sniping out for each drop. He's definitely looking for so many targets, but no! He shoots at Swoosh, but Swoosh at the same time uses his reflectability. He sends the high caliber bullet back to the dome of each you up and makes him look like a fool. And trying to get towards this point, the EMP has now been used by Gumball on the point. That's a good opening for Australia, and Chip Tyan, his head is plucked like an apple from the tree. And that's why you play this hero, to get those early pickoffs and give your team the edge. Now Australia, a numerical advantage. They're gonna roll into the point trap, press it, but to Vic, 
pulling it back a bit, but blows himself up in the same note. That will end to Vic, at least for now, and give Australia this point. Atar looking for a way in. We are in overtime. They touch it at the right moment, but they are down in numbers. Now Atar must be a hero. He must somehow pull this back. Australia, they engage the sound barrier. And that's going to help them a little bit, but it might not get the job done. They're going to throw themselves at the point that the Swedes use the EMP. That's going to prevent Australia from using those all-important abilities, and that makes it so hard for them to have any capacity in trying to take this point back. They need to match them at 6v6, but they've been trickling on by one at a time, and it's not going to be enough. One of the main damage deals for Australia, he needs to use this long range to his advantage, but True goes in! The Winston jumps ahead of Australia. He's already found two kills. And that is the power of the setup, where they were able to weaken Sweden from afar. Dive right in and secure that advantage. But Sweden, we see Tavik. He is being the ruiner of dreams once more. Moving into the Australian backline, but this time, it's not going to be enough. The terror has been vanquished. Vic, you know the lingo, but now Atar wants to set up behind his team. Sound barrier, Australia going in. Australia, they're doubling down. They seize this as their moment. They get onto the point. They're already getting progress. They have a two-man advantage, and Atar is going oh. on. Atar with the triple kill, and Australia now making this point their own. Stylish finish from Atar there. The fadeaway Helix rocket to catch Vic, who would have been the biggest thorn in Australia's side so far. It's been a such a good fight for Australia. They've lost no one yet. They're up on the point. Sweden scrambling to try and respond, scrambling to try and get some control back, but they're so far behind the eight ball here. Australia, an ironclad grip on the lead. Sweden right now is shell shocked. They're looking for any way back in, but Australia is smothering right now. A full control of the point. Trill mopping them up right as they come back in, treating them to that electricity. And Australia right now, they just need a little bit more mid, and this will be a blazingly fast time. Try as they might, Sweden cannot get any presence on the point. Australia forced to step off briefly, but surely will come back into the fight. Pulse bomb dropped on Manus and takes him very low. Sweden desperate to try and get back into this fight, but True leaps over the top in Winston. Tavik's picked off Gumbo though. That might be struggle town for Australia. Tavik has been the thorn in Australia's side this entire time. He's able to take down the support hero. They will have less healing and sustain. They almost are at the point they need. You see in the middle of your screen, they just need a little bit more, but now Sweden is striking deep into them, and they're starting to pull this back. Australia now in a 2v2 situation. Tavik's staying alive. But Atar finds Chips high. No! Tvik chases him down, gets two kills on his own. Manages to shake Australia off the point towards the enemy. Winston, it doesn't quite connect. Reinforce is still alive. Atar decides to go for the tactical visor here. He finds Zebesai before Manitan on the Swedish side can prevent the damage from connecting. It's a two for Australia. It's a four for zero trade so far in this fight. They need to back away and avoid the explosion, but now they're coming back on towards the point. This is so good for Australia right now. Everyone's still alive. Atar is being the champion his country deserves. They only need a little bit more. Sound barrier for Sweden coming in here, but Kiki deals with Zephyr very quickly. A self-destruct on the point from Australia this time to force Sweden off it. Now, Swish trying to go for the Dragon Blade here. It's a last ditch effort, but it's not going to be enough. Still being contested now. Couple moments in Australia will have it, but this fight is being dragged out. The Dragon Blade matched by the Transcendence. It heals everyone, stops him from getting what he wants, and Australia has yet to lose a man here on this point. Sweden, all they're doing right now is delaying, but how long can they keep this up as Australia cuts right That's through it. them? Just one player now on the point, it's going to be the main. Zebesai, what should I say, goes into the ice block here. He's just trying to have a bit of fun with Australia right now. Still, the point is contested. The stall's been so very good from Sweden to make sure that they've always maintained a presence on this point, prevent it from being captured. The fight is still going. This has been insane. They've been able to keep a man on the point this entire time. That's the only reason why Australia's not been able to take it. And Tavik strikes into the back. He's taking down the support. This is dangerous for Australia. Yes, Australia able to get the final control. Round one is over. Two points to the Australian team. So ultimate team for Australia, the EMP for Gunther is available and it gets used. Swoosh can't use any of his abilities right now. He needs to back away, be very careful. Sweden right now is trying to disengage, but it's not in time for Manitan. He has thrown out this mech that weakens him severely. Australia, heavy on the assault right now. They sense blood in the water, but Sweden strikes back. They use the sound barrier, they counter engage, and have the Australians been caught off guard. They reinforce a little bit like the Incredible Hulk there. It becomes that big Winston just knocking people around. He kind of loses his cool as far as the story goes. But Atar with the Dragon Blade here, what can he do? He's trying to avoid this Winston, but Reinforce goes for the punch. He doesn't connect it, but Atar has fell off screen. Now, Australia are into stall. They need to trickle on towards this point one by one to keep it alive. Australia right now looking for a way to stall out Sweden and find an opportunity back in. They have got a few pickoffs, but Sweden is suffocating right now, killing Australian reinforcements as they come back in. They are almost there to pushing us into extra rounds. A Dragon Blade from Swoosh comes out. That could seal the deal here for Sweden. Self-destruct doesn't quite connect, and Swoosh is picking up those players in the back line for Australia. You can see Trill jumps in. He's taken very low at the start of the fight. A sticky bomb was applied to him. He lost most of his health in the first second of that. Kiki now forced to eject out of his mech. He'll be cut down all over the top. 
You can see Swoosh getting into the back line. RKT, the last man standing for Australia. But no, he dropped off back towards a the point. They're falling as quickly as they come back in. You can see that's the right spot. A bit of a statement being made there by Australia. The May comes out to stall. It's not quite enough, and yet... Here comes Sweden right now on the attack. We'll see if they take the same approach to the left. They're thinking about it, and yes, they do. They're going to go off to the left. Swoosh on the 76. We'll be looking for the long-range poke here to put Sweden on the right approach. Australia, they hold back. They know they have room to give. Again, the big pink mech suit in front for Sweden. Manhattan can prevent a lot of damage from actually connecting with his team at all, so he's got a very important role. Chips high in those being chucked down. Very low. He's down. Australia get the first pick here. That's the start they're looking for. Trading out kills in a positive manner should mean they can weather this first push from Sweden. And bear in mind, Kiki isn't even dead. He's simply demacked. He's still in this fight. He will eventually fall, but the EMP comes out from Australia, and that gives him the edge here in this fight. They will push Sweden off of their lawn. It may not have been the correct decision for Gumba to use an EMP in this particular fight, but look at this. They're keeping Manhattan alive. They're not letting him get killed because it's still 10 seconds time it's going to take for him to come back. Sweden actually have to wait for Manhattan to find some way to escape the Australians before he can even respawn. That's very big. Last push here for Sweden. Last chance to loon it is Andrew Yuri. Exactly right, and Sweden again being fairly tentative about it, trying to set up and find a good way to get towards this point. Damage is going back and forth, the reinforce is already very low. Swoosh is forced to deal with someone behind him there, a flanking player, but he gets Kiki D suited to start the fight. That's good, but now reinforce dropping down. A one for one Australia, they come alive in these last few moments. Atar hit the tactical visor onto two plays, and Sweden are nowhere to be seen. Australia holds them at the door. And there's still two minutes left here. Australia using their time benefit to their advantage. Sweden trying to counter dive back in, but reinforce. Force is dead. We go. That was ill advised. Australia, a 6v5 power play here. Will they be able to take advantage? Look how close the white bar is on the circle to capturing Australia. Looking very good right now. Gonna pressure forward. Vic managed to get one kill on towards Trill, but it's not gonna be enough. EMP used defensively from Chip, but it's to no avail. Swoosh on his own. Zebesai is taken down on the point. And that's it. First map of the series to come to Australia. Now we have a game. Now, this EMP is going to open up the fight, it's going to be big. Chips has just arrived, but look how far back Australia is standing. They don't want to be subject to that EMP at all. Losing Trill means that they're in full-scale retreat, at least for the moment here, and that allows Chips to get in and hack that big, important health pack. And Chips right now, he can hold on to it. The fights were going so well that he doesn't need the use yet. There oh, is. so many targets. Goes for the Zenyatta. Goodbye, Shields. Goodbye, Zen. And Sweden applying the pressure. This is looking great for them. Absolutely. Now, in the aftermath of the EMP, it's a bit of a clean-up attempt from Sweden. However, the Aussies can be able to reinforce this pretty comfortably. Self-destruct in the back corner. It's a very little effect. Not sure what the plan was with that one, but he dropped, found Manhattan, Atar dropping to Australia only with one damage trip for the time being. And now, of course, the Zoomy out of Craig Lounge getting a run here on Route 66 just to try and heal up the Aussies. The Spice time, and it works out. He's able to heal up Trill. They stay at the point, and now they're zoning out to Sweden. Sweden not able to maintain the momentum, and though Tavik is rolling into the back line, he does not have a team to support him, and Atar puts him down. Please. If he hits three, four people, Swoosh should be able to convert, and there it is. The EMP comes out, and Gumba goes down immediately. That's exactly what Chips was looking to do. Atar flees from the Dragon Blade, but he needs to return to the fight. He's left his teammates on their own. Nothing he can do, self-preservation being the forefront of his mind. But still, long range from downtown. Connects with Chips Hyatt. There will be time for Australia to come back and reinforce here. The sound barrier from RQT. Transcenders from Gumba, they're going to be paramount. The reinforcements are going to be coming in. They're going to drop the beat. There it is. The sound barrier is out. And Australia back in. Sweden, they drop the beat in turn. This fight not to work for either side. But the Australians rolling right out. And now they pass into the Irish. This is big. This is what Australia needs right now. The Transcenders to give them the edge. Reinforcers already dropped down. Now it's going to be Stall. Street trying to get back on the wall to point, but the boot keeps him off. Swish struggling to get very close. Manhattan purges himself up on the payload, but he's booted down. They self destruct. That's going to clear the area. And Australia have held Sweden before that third checkpoint. Chips I had really the crucial part here to this defense. He's not here yet, and timing is crucial. If he doesn't get the MP up soon, he might be dealing with more ultimates from Australia. The MP though is up, and he's looking for his opportunity. It should be soon. Yep, Sweden get the sound barrier down. Zemsai lets that one go. Manhattan sees Suda, but Australia lost Gumba early in the fight. The tactical fight are now coming up. Beautiful stuff from Aitar. Tvik is gonna fall. No escape in that one. Oh, by the second, both of the DPS for Sweden are down. They're off the map. Australia just acting as ATAR's bouncers right now, surrounded by two tanks. He's able to look at Sweden, cut them down, and use that space to beautiful effect. And Chips Hyatt, 
Didn't even get a good chance to drop the EMP in that fight. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be the primary range for Trill here, but what can be created? Any, any space for Axar to work? No, it's just forced out the transcendence here from the Swedish side. Very astute response from the Swedes. Swords is caught by the self destruction though. That could be a bit of a misstep. Gunba goes down to reinforce right in the back, and Australia is still trying to collapse upon the road support. Maybe this is an overextension for Sweden. Maybe they've bit not more than they could do. That's a kebab with a bitter aftertaste, but Vic twice to rectify it, and that's a beautiful pulse bomb effort. To Vic doesn't care what he's going to be eating because right now he is eating through the Australian backline. But I eat you up. Who can beat him in a contest of bloodity as Australia is still able to keep things moving forward? And they declare the transcendence right now. They see, are seizing an advantage. Swoosh, Dragon Blade, but it's rolling into nothing. You can't cut through that. You can't do anything. It's a good response by Australia here so far, and they get the first kill. Self-destruct claims each you up. That's not good at all, but Zemisai is down. Trill with two. Tvik gets the DC on towards Kiki, but RQT is going to follow down as well. Not good for Australia. It might have to be a reset, but they're going to hang around. Still, it's a losing fight. They're trying to stay in this one. It's gonna be tough. Gumbo down, down. Gumbo and Atar though, turn things around. Manager gets these suited here. Gonna be easier for Atar to get the damage done. One more fight. And then... Who would you rather have than Atar with that attack visor now looking for a victory position? Sound barrier for Zemisai is available though here. This could completely derail Australia if it's used correctly. They gotta go. It's time. Trill's gonna go in from the backside. Atar trying to stay safe on the high ground. Manager, there's the sound barrier here for Sweden just to sustain through all this damage. Swatch is being scrutinized in the back line and Atar's found nothing so far with attack visor. But Australia. Australia still remains strong, but Trill has fallen. The first to fall is from Australia, but they strike back. Five, five, five. five. This is super close. We are in overtime. Manitin avoids getting desuited only just no. Now he gets the desuit. It's going to be each up that finds him, but Chips collapses perfectly on top of him. Then he responds with a transcendence. Beautiful from Sweden. Unbelievable recovery here in this fight. Well, we have transcendence the other way around. Reinforcements going for Australia. They are not giving up. We are in extra time right now. They are fighting to take number one. But Swoosh is the dream breaker. The blade to the back line will seal it. And Sweden wins the series three to one. It's a vindication for the Swedes. It's a huge boost for them. After such a tough start to this World Cup stage. But a well-deserved victory and an impressive hold here on Route 66. Stunning.